So something in the session is causing it to crash. And there's an easy way that we can determine precisely what this is. So let's start by reopening Pro Tools. And when that's done, we're going to open the session whilst holding down the Shift key. But the difference here is when it does open, it's going to open with all the plugins inactive. So the process now is to selectively reactivate the plugins one at a time and find out which one's causing the crash. I'm going to try the Pro Compressor. Come well together, and it's no surprise. That's OK. Waves Clarity VX. Something's happening here, and it's crashed. So the crash reporter has come up. Once again, it doesn't know which plugin has caused the problem, but we do. So a couple of solutions to this. It's probably caused by an out of date version of the plugin. So you could go into your drive, library, application support. In the Avid folder, you'll find audio and then plugins, and you could locate the plugin in question. So in this case, it's actually within the Waveshell uh, AAX plugin. So I could update that. You can see this is, this is out of date. It's from November 2023, which is no doubt one of the causes of the issue. So I could replace that. Or if I felt that I wasn't going to use that plugin anymore, maybe I didn't need it, I could just drag it to the plugins unused folder and then Pro Tools won't see it. And when you start it up, it'll just be missing. So that's a quick solution to plugins which cause Pro Tools to crash.